Should I tell him he's missing a shoe? Nah. Walk it out. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up Boop. that's it you did it all right we have some dope nintendo switch news items for this video but before we get into the news the nintendo switch is going to be in for some serious competition starting next gen. Next year specifically. Sony has just announced the PlayStation 5 launching holiday 2020. We haven't heard anything from Microsoft officially yet as far as a launch. No! They said it at E3. It's launching holiday 2020 with Halo. Um, Halo Infinite. And so, both Sony and Microsoft uh, will be coming out with their big guns. This generation, Sony killed it. They, they kill it every generation. They have great um, hardware and dudes pick up Sony consoles. Microsoft struggled this generation. They had tons of blunders um, trying to sell Kinect a less powerful system for a hundred dollars more they shot themselves in the foot so many times and the late comer to the party was the nintendo switch now first thing is nintendo's on their own console cycle right now i said this before and i'm gonna say it again i don't think nintendo's gonna launch a next gen system in 2020 the market is going to be too crowded. They'll let Sony, Microsoft have that year. I think we're going to get a next-gen Switch 2021, 2022, most likely the latest. I think that's when Nintendo will give us their next system. Nintendo, they had a good generation. So far, the Switch has been killing it primarily based on games and that's where i think nintendo's going to take the system next generation i don't think they're paying too much attention to what sony and microsoft is doing as far as hardware power nintendo one thing i say with nintendo is they've always focused more on the gaming experience and the switch has been delivering with games my only issue, only issue with the Switch this generation is the frame rate in some of the third-party games. The first-party games, for the most part, Nintendo optimizes their games. They run at 60 frames per second. They look good. Link's Awakening looks beautiful. Even though Link's Awakening has some frame rate hiccups, the game looks gorgeous. If Nintendo could at least get 1080p 60 frames um, with whatever since they, they come out with next I think they're gonna be able to compete even in where Sony and Microsoft is pushing 4k consoles now what do I think Nintendo's going to do there has been plenty of rumors that Nintendo will be coming out with a dedicated home console next generation now the og switch was a combination of handheld and home console nintendo just launched the switch Lite, which is simply a handheld switch <coughs> dudes are like why would they do that how can they call it the switch if you can't switch it it's the same company that came out with a 2DS for the 3DS. And so, the same way they came out with the Switch Lite, only a handheld system, I think they might, 
for their next system come out with a dedicated home console so they're not too far behind with um, Microsoft or Sony just based on what some of the rumors have said and at the same time still have games that are compatible across all three systems now I have to be honest that's what the rumors are saying but what do I want I think Nintendo if it ain't broke don't fix it unless you got a broken Joy-Con I think Nintendo, the next gen system, should also be a hybrid console. I think this is the best route for Nintendo to go. They're going to continue to kill it. They're killing it in the dedicated handheld market. Sony and Microsoft, they're going towards the streaming route where you're not playing your games locally on your device. You can stream it on your Android stream, Xbox Live, PlayStation Plus. I don't think we're going to be there for another console generation. I think this next console generation is going to be the last generation. We're going to give it about six, seven years. And that next generation, technology with internet and streaming is going to catch up to where that's when Nintendo will have to change it up. But I think Nintendo still needs to be the only gaming manufacturer where we can play our games natively still on the system anywhere and I think Nintendo will still have an advantage in that market because the reason why in my opinion the switch has been so successful Nintendo has put all their games on one system no dividing of de um, developing I used to hate it <coughs> you had the Wii U you had the 3DS some games came out on the Wii U, some games came out on the 3DS. They were dividing their resources, the Wii U tank because of it. Nintendo focusing all of their manufacturing power on one system. Um, all the developing teams on one system strengthened um, the, 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 the marketability of the system. It's the only place, this is the only place you can go to play Luigi's Mansion 3 that's about to drop. This is the only place you can go that you can play Link's Awakening that just dropped. That's why the system is selling. At the end of the day, it comes down to software. We buy hardware to have a good gaming experience. And so, the Switch, I think next gen, I hope next generation Nintendo um, sticks to the hybrid route, but of course, increase the power. Mobile technology is advancing at a faster pace than console technology. Don't be surprised <coughs> if Nintendo continues to just have incremental updates with the Switch, the Switch Pro, or the Switch XL, and it's a little bit more powerful. And then in two, three more years, continue to do that. They're going to eventually catch the power of these next-gen systems. Mobile, it's just a fact. Now, before, dudes could be like, oh, that's a mobile game. Now, mobile games are starting to legit catch up to console games. I'm thinking of Asphalt 9 that just came out on the Switch. Initially, I wasn't paying that game too much attention. I was like, it's a mobile game. I played Asphalt on my phone before. Bro, Asphalt 9 right now is my favorite racing game. The game is legit good. And so, here's to Nintendo's next-gen system. Continuing the hybrid trend. But if we can at least get um, our games at a stable frame rate, Nintendo could figure that out with third-party developers. I think the Switch... Um, it's going to be good to go. Whatever Nintendo decides next generation, as long as they keep all their games on that same system. And I know this isn't a, a popular opinion. Nintendo's going to eventually have to come to a point where they're going to have to let go of the current switch that we have. Not yet. We have a couple more years for this system. But force us to upgrade to their next system. Like Breath of the Wild 2. <coughs> they announce it exclusive to their next gen system that's what dudes are going to do i don't think they're going to do that they're going to make it compatible to the current switch and probably just slowly um cause us to upgrade and eventually 
drop the system years down the market. But dudes, just a short discuss discussion on the Nintendo Switch. Um, this is the only thing we're going to talk about this video. News items we'll talk about in another video. But dudes, we had a great time. Our last tournament with the sponsor. If you want to join a dope Nintendo Switch gaming community, become a sponsor. You could join through Twitch, YouTube, or on Patreon. You get on my Switch friend list. We have gaming prize tournaments. Just a dope, dope time. Uh, shout out to DeAndre. He just became a sponsor uh, through Patreon. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about the next gen Nintendo Switch? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. I know why you're asking about these zombies. We'll talk about it in our next video, Resident Evil 5 and 6, boy.